Hi, my name is David with Max Accordion. Today we are going to learn the C scale. The C scale is probably one of the easiest scales because there's no flats, there's no sharps, so no black keys. Um, uh, let's get started right away. My, let's put our thumb, or it's going to be on the middle C. Now, how do we find the middle C? It's right before the two black keys, or in my case, two red keys. So, two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys. The C is right before the two black keys. So, let's put our thumb on that C. Second finger on the D. Third finger on the E. Fourth finger on the F. The fifth finger on the G. We're going to come back down. Fourth finger on the F. Third finger on the E. Second finger on the D. And the thumb on the C. Now this is a little prelude to the scale, so it's going to sound like this. Let's start the scale now. Thumb on the C. Second finger on the D. Third finger on the E. Let's cross under with our thumb and we're going to hit the F. The second finger on the G. The third finger on the A. The fourth finger on the B. And the fifth finger on the C. Now we're going to come back down. Fourth finger on the B, third finger on the A, second finger on the G, thumb on the F, let's cross over with the third finger to hit the E, that's it, second finger on the D, and the thumb on the C. Now this should sound like this, let's play it with me, ready? scales with a full chord. So we're not going to play the little chords like the C, E, G. I want a big full chord. So put it once again, the thumb is going to go on the C. The second finger is going to be on the E. The third finger is going to be on the G. And the fifth finger is going to be on the C. Let's play it together. Ready? Play. I'm going to go one time all the way up and back with the, and then end with the C scale. I mean the C chord. Ready? One, two, ready, play. this now let's add that intro that we have the one two three four five and back down then do the C scale are you ready one two ready play interesting. Let's do the alternating bass with our left hand. Now if you've never played the alternating bass, I'm going to teach it to you right now. So with our third finger, we're going to put it on the C, the little diamond or divot. With the second finger, we're going to play the C chord by itself. And with the third finger, we're going to cross it, we're going to hit the G, which is right beside the C. We're going to come back with our second finger and hit the C chord again. Once again, the C chord, G, back to C chord. And it should sound like this. 
Okay, so now let's put the alternating bass along with the scale, note to note. So we'll do the one, two, three, four, five. One, two, ready, play. make it a little bit more challenging. Let's do two octaves with a C scale. So real fast, I'm gonna play the, the C, the double octave. The C, the thumb is gonna be on the C. Second finger D, third finger E. We're gonna cross under to the um, F. Second finger G, third finger A. Fourth finger B, we're gonna cross under with our thumb to the C. Second finger D. Finger E, cross under again to the F, second finger G, third finger A, fourth finger B, and fifth finger C. Let's come back down. Fourth finger B, third finger A, second finger G, thumb is going to be on the F, crossing over with our third finger is going to be to the E. with putting the one, two, three, four, five in front of it, and then we'll do the full double octave scale with the alternating bass to make it a little bit more challenging. Are you ready? One, two, ready, play. to keep on practicing this and, um, and each time you'll get a little bit faster so enjoyed this. My name is David with uh, Max Accordions. You can take online lessons uh, www.maxmacsaccordion.com where I teach um, through Skype and um, it's a great way to learn. You don't have no traffic or travel time. So I hope you enjoyed the C scale and I hope to see you all soon.